Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.1. In this video I'm going to cover how to use the underscore JS JavaScript library as part of Snowman 1.3. While Snowman can seem initially frustrating to users coming from Harlow or Sugarcube story formats, it actually has a very rich set of functionality just below the surface with its inclusion of underscore JS, which is a JavaScript library enabling usage of a large number of utility functions and advanced templating abilities. Underscore, uh, underscore JS, underscore, bars heavily from embedded Ruby formatting, sometimes called ERB formatting, through using less than and greater than signs paired with the percentage sign to mark template usage, and to make more sense when we look at the code. For example, the name of this passage is templates, and we actually are using the ERB formatting for underscore to, to show this, and we'll look at the code. However, while different, it also allows JavaScript code and conditional statements to be easily tested and content changed, like with hooks and Harlow, in fact, based on existing values. So those are the conditional content. In fact, we can skip using the script element tag completely to use underscore's template system instead. An easy way to think about it, if you come from Harlow or Sugarcube usage, is thinking of it using macros. It's the same language, it looks the same, but it's a different dialect and different way of doing this. And it'll, it'll make more sense when we look at the code. And we see an example here of conditional. It says show me, which of course makes more sense when we look at the code. So we can also use markdown in Snowman. So while it may not seem as obvious, Snowman also comes with its own form of markdown, similar to Harlow and Sugarcube with its ability to have emphasis or bold or shift formatting through using markdown, different additional elements, uh, along with and because of its use of underscore, which helps with the templating system and the ability to use markdown within Snowman. So let's go look at all this code here. So the story starts with the start passage, and then start passage points to templates, and templates has the first use of the underscore template code here. Now notice as I said, less than percentage percentage greater than to mark this as template code for underscore. I'm using an additional thing here of equals that says take whatever this is and print it to the screen that is executed with the equal sign. So it's a way of doing this to say okay give us this value window passage name which works with the snowman existing API as part of window passage. So we can access the name property of the window passage global object and with the template system just execute it and print it to the screen without us doing any additional code. So using underscores template abilities, we can access and do things very quickly as if we were sort of using macros as part of Harlow or Sugarcube in a similar way. Now let's look at additional content to further this example here. So as I mentioned, we can use JavaScript and skip using the script element completely and just use underscore's template system instead. And we see an example of that right here, where we're setting an initial value of test boolean to be true, which is JavaScript, but it's inside underscore's template system. As well as continuing throughout this example, we can actually start conditional statements right here if test boolean is true and, as we saw an example, show me, else, never show me. Now this looks very similar if you come from using Harlow or Sugarcube, where we might have something like a set macro used here, and then an if macro used here, intermixed with content throughout this, where the if macro would be on one line, the content would be on other, the else would be on another, and the con additional content would be on the other, and then it would be closed, like within Sugarcube and within Harlow as well for its use of the if or if else or else macros within those two story formats. And so like I said, it's a similar language. It looks very similar, but it's sort of a different dialect where instead of using two less than signs, we're using less than and uh, percentage signs here. So we said we can test something, do something else, do something else. And like I said, it looks very similar to Harlow and Sugarcube just uses JavaScript instead of the macro calls within those two story formats. So finally we can move over to the snowman markdown. And the snowman markdown works along with and sort of because of the way it uses the underscore template system. 
So what we have here is to use the markdown, we have an initial bracket opening on its line by itself, whatever content we, with, we, we want, along with a closing bracket opening braces, and then to set an ID, we use the hash. To set a class, we would use a dot. For example, we wanted to set dot. And class name, we could also do that as well. And we can also make it act on CSS using those same things. So I'll erase this here. And we'll go look at the story style sheet. The X is the story style sheet within the Twine editor. We first click on the name of the story in the editor and then go to edit story style sheet. And in this case, I've added one extra rule here where anything with the ID of red text should have the color red, which is what we saw in practice. And so this was parsed by the snowman story editor. It became HTML and was acted upon this, the existing CSS rules to color this red. So we can use markdown in Snowman, we can use conditional content, or we can also use Underscore's templating system to create a very rich set of functionality that isn't as, uh, isn't as always obvious uh, to people coming into Snowman where there isn't as great documentation of what might be available here. However, using underscore with its template system, conditional content, markdown, and everything else, we can do everything we can do in other story formats. And we can do it in a similar way, similar to this conditional content, where you can use the template system to act like macro calls in a similar manner, but using JavaScript instead of uh, TwineScript within those two story formats to replicate in a more advanced way sometimes uh, functionality from those story formats within Snowman using underscore like I said as well as Markdown and other APIs that's available within Snowman, uh, Snowman the window story object, the window passage object to do different things in a similar manner. Snowman then instead of being sort of a, uh, called uh, a minimal uh, story format actually has in some cases a much, much richer availability of functions to use from underscore, from JavaScript, and from its markdown and the templating system, although not as obvious in this case. So Snowman has a very rich functionality, which can seem initially frustrating to users coming from uh, a more obvious functionality as part of Harlow or Sugarcube, but like I said, templates with underscore, conditional content with underscore, as well as markdown, leave the user or the developer or the writer with the same general functionality and the same way of doing things from the other story formats. Thanks for watching.